best friend in school and we were really bad together. We got in a lot of trouble, we did a lot of drugs together, we drank a lot and we just like skipped school and did like all the things you're not supposed to do. That's what her and I did together. We were like the bad kid best friends. And the cool thing about being friends with her, I keep wanting to say her name, <laughs> her parents were like super cool. They let her throw parties at her house, like they had parties every weekend at her house. They would drink with us, like they smoked weed. Back then, they were like really cool parents. Nowadays, if like they did what they did then, probably my friend would get like taken away by CPS and put in foster care because <laughs> shit was going down at that house. But it was like the fun party house to go to. So my friend had been telling me at school that they're going to party on Friday and Saturday and that I should come over and I was like, okay, but I had gotten in trouble for something like before that and I don't even remember what it was, but like I was supposedly grounded because for getting in trouble for something else. And so I wasn't allowed to leave my house. Sounds like some dogs are getting really wild outside. <laughs> Come on, dog. But I really wanted to go to this party. Like, I really wanted to get fucked up and, like, just not think about life because, you know, my life in the ninth grade was so stressful. <laughs> so I decided that I was going to sneak out that night. I was going to steal my mom's car, drive to my friend's house, and go party. So girlfriend that's what I did <laughs> I did not know how to drive my mom's car I had no idea what I was doing and the best part about this is like I drove past a police station on the way from my house to my friend's house and I didn't even get stopped so I get into the parking lot like where my mom's car is parked and we live in like a townhouse so I had to like back out without like hitting other cars that were like parked next to me and I didn't even know like which foot was gas, which was brake, like I didn't know how the fuck to put it in reverse. Like I had no idea what I was doing, but somehow, <laughs> somehow, by the grace of God, I figured out how the fuck to get out of there. Except for on the way out. On the way out there was like a garbage can. You know how they have like cement things around the garbage can to like so you don't see the garbage because it looks ugly? I accidentally hit that because <laughs> it was nighttime and I couldn't turn figure out how to turn the lights on. And so I hit the garbage thing, and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going to be in so much trouble. But I, like, really wanted to go to this party, so I was like, fuck it. It's okay. We'll just pretend like that didn't happen. And then, like, I proceeded to go drive to my friend's house. It's really late at night, but there's still people on the road, because this was in L.A., like, when I lived in L.A. But I'm, like, trying my best to, like, look over the steering wheel and, like, gas break, gas break. You guys, it was a, I don't I have no idea how I didn't, like, die on the way going to my friend's house, but somehow I made it. And I didn't, like, get in a car accident. So I made it to my friend's house. I'm like, fuck yes. Like, fuck my mom. Like, fuck my parents. I'm feeling myself. I'm about to go party. I'm about to fucking party my ass off right now. So I somehow figure out how to park. And and I walk into my friend's house. And my friend's like, oh, my God, you, I thought you were grounded. I was like, I am grounded. She's like, how did you get here? Like, I stole my mom's car. She's like, you are a boss-ass bitch. I'm like, bitch, I know. She didn't say boss-ass bitch because, like, we didn't really talk like that then. But... She was like, yeah, you know, you're cool, however we used to say it. So, yeah, I was basically a boss-ass bitch. And then I was like, okay, the party has arrived. I honestly thought it was, like, the coolest thing that has ever walked the planet when I was younger because I just did, like, so much bad shit. When I was in high school, like, if you were, like, bad, that was, like, cool. I don't think it's that way now, but, like, yeah, that's how it was. So I thought I was so cool. And as soon as I got there, I was started doing keg stands. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but basically, like, they had, like, kegs at this party, which is, like, this huge thing filled with beer and you flip upside down on it and then you put the thing in your mouth and you drink as much beer as you can so I was doing that so I got like really fucking wasted but I was just drinking and then I found a bottle of vodka and I fucking climbed up on the roof and I'm drinking vodka with my girlfriend and we were just having so much fun well during my drunken shenanigans at this party uh, little do I know that my mom finds out that I am not in my room I don't know what happened she must have woken up in the middle of the night and somehow had a gut feeling, because you know, like, parents, like, they can, like, sense that something is, like, not right with their kids. Well, my mom must have, like, had that, and she went to go check on me in my room and realized it wasn't there. And then realized that her car keys were fucking missing. <laughs> and I think she probably just shit herself when she found out that, like, I stole her fucking car. So she probably went down and saw that her car was gone, and she must have fucking shit herself. <laughs> she must have been so fucking mad. <laughs> when I was little because I did some fucked up shit like I put that poor woman through hell I'm making it up to her now I love you mom I love you mom my mom ends up calling one of her friends that lives close by because she knows that I always get in trouble with this one friend that like I'm at her house or whatever and she doesn't know where I am so she starts calling up my friend's parents 
and asking if I'm at their house and like all the friends that she thought I would be at like their parents house I was not there so my mom just assumed that I was at this one girl's house that I always got in trouble with and she was right <laughs> so she gets one of her friends to come pick her up and drive over to the person's house well during this time my friend and I had gotten really drunk so my friend and I end up back in her room and we're really drunk and we're just like hanging out we're laying in her bed and all of a sudden it starts to kiss me and I was like okay I was really drunk so I just started kissing her back and then we started like hooking up you know I'm sure you can use your imagination at what happened after that as this is going on my mom is like not only pissed that I fucking am not in my room because I'm grounded she's even more pissed that I fucking stole her car and don't even know how to drive then she's like realizing that I'm not only just at my friend's house where I'm not supposed to be but there's a fucking party going on with a bunch of teenagers in high school that are drinking and getting fucked up and it's like a party so now she's even more pissed my mom is just fucking flying off the handle she was so fucking mad she's like going through the party she's like where's Shannon where's Shannon and everybody knows me and they're all like I don't know I don't know that is the most embarrassing thing like ever if you ever go to a party and your fucking mom comes in there and starts asking where you are because she's trying to take your ass home like that is so fucking embarrassing like totally ruined my street cred mom like come on so if that wasn't bad enough my mom is like looking searching for me everywhere and she opens the door and sees me hooking up with another girl with my friend my best friend I am hooking up with my best friend so I don't know if she thought I was like a lesbian at that point I don't really think she gave a shit I think she was a little shocked <laughs> but I think she was just more mad than anything and she literally had to like take a few seconds to comprehend like what was really good happening that I was like hooked up with another girl and not another guy but like regardless my mom gave zero fuck she grabbed me and she started pulling me out and not only did she just drag me out of the fucking party by my arm she wanted to know where the dad was and I'm like mom you're ruining this party you're so, you're embarrassing me like just let's just go so fucking embarrassing she's like no I want to talk to the father I'm gonna call the cops I cannot believe that he lets us go down in his house and she's just like freaking so mad and I'm like mom please no like please don't do this because I'm never gonna be allowed at this person's house again they're never gonna let me go over there they're gonna think my mom's gonna like come and like call the cops on them and all this shit and like the parents are so cool that they let it like all of us do this my mom's gonna ruin it for everyone and for me lo and behold she barges into the fucking dad's room the dad is like smoking the fucking bong load his eyes got huge and he's like oh fuck he knew he was in trouble <laughs> and my mom was like started cussing him out and like threatening him and like all this shit and I was so embarrassed I was like oh my god totally fucking buzzkill right so eventually she gets me home she didn't end up calling the cops she just like really scared the dad I think and I was grounded for another month from then on out she started hiding her car keys so I know this is like really bad but she never even noticed that I had like crashed her car and I know this is like <laughs> this is really bad and like fucked up of me but I didn't want to tell her because I was already in so much fucking trouble because I really only hit like the front headlight and like you know broke it or whatever so she never really noticed it but she noticed it like two weeks later I think she was like did you see this and I was like no I didn't see it and she's like oh my god somebody must have like hit me in a parking lot and not left a note or something and I'm like yeah that's real fucked up mom because <laughs> I don't want to tell her it was me because I would have been in like so much more trouble and I was always in trouble so she still thinks <laughs> I hope she doesn't watch this video I'm sorry mom if you're watching she still thinks that like <laughs> you fell fucking hit her car and just didn't say anything but really it was me the whole time I know I'm a fucking devil I am like the spawn of Satan not anymore but I was when I was little I swear I was like possessed by something because I was evil <laughs> I was an evil little baby that is basically the story about how my mom caught me hooking up with another